Hello and welcome to the 17th of December. Today we're going to be looking at batch files. And to start off, I want you to right click on your desktop, go down to New, and select Text Document. Now name it whatever you want. In my case, I think I call it something like New Batch File or whatever you want to call it. it. Makes absolutely no difference. We're not even going to use this file. So then go into it, and once we've got that, go to File, Save As. Select where you want to save it, uh, change that to all files, and put change .txt to .bat. So it is a bat file, not a txt file. And you'll notice the icon's different. It now looks like that. Now this is what's called a batch file. It contains a series of instructions when we put them in. And I'm going to show you how to do that with this video. So we'll start off with the basics, a simple hello world tutorial. So echo space hello space world and below that I want you to type the word pause. So file save, close it down and we're going to run it. And there we go. You See it's made the command line with echo hello world and then it's printed hello world and then it's paused. So the pause aspect is very important otherwise you won't see your hello world. To get rid of all the excess that was there, I want you to type at echo off before everything. So we'll run it again, and this is what we get this time. Hello world. Easy. So for a full list of what you can get, I'm going to make a batch file that prints out the whole list. So right click again, edit, and get rid of this echo hello world if you want, but have it above the pause. So enter and just type help. File, save, go and run it. Now it's going to print out the entire commands. You can get this exact same list if you go into CMD and just type help. You'll find everything there. There's loads of commands to choose from and they are very, very easy to make. So it's a nice skill to have in your back pocket. So we'll move on, we'll make another script. So we're going to make one that does something a little more useful than print hello world at you. Uh, so make directory, so mkdir, and then I pulled the uh, directory from a window I had open on my other screen. So c users tom slash desktop is the actual answer, just like that. So just paste it in from the other window, and slash made for scripting. Now the made for scripting bit does not exist, it's going to make the directory when I run this. So run it, drag it over so you can see. And then we remove the directory with a rmdir command. So run the batch file, any key to continue, it works. It can both make and remove the directory. So we'll make it a little bit more complicated. So my first command is the color 0a. 0 represents the background colour, because it's the first bit. So 0 is black, and A is light green, as you'll see soon. So echo, Tingwinger 5's folder, creator, slash destroyer. We'll keep it very simple. And then copy that below it, so we give it like a sort of background, almost. Echo, press 1 to create. Press 2 to delete. Well, destroy. This is very, very simple stuff. So set is the next command. Input all capital equals then set slash p input equals that'll be your input there. And then if input equals one, so that's two equal signs there, not one, go to create will discuss that more in a second but notice create is all in capitals that is important and if input is completely equal to 2 go to destroy so here's the create section to create a subsection use the colon command and just type create exactly as you have above I make a point to make it all in capitals just so it's easy to read and pause and go to EOF go to EOF just means end the program go to end of and we have the destroy section, which is just remove the directory, pause, EOF. Very simple, very easy. So save that, run it, and bring it over. 
one to create, two to destroy. Press one, and we get pause. So here's the folder it created. And we go into it again, bring it over, press two, and it's gone. No video editing tricks, it genuinely works. And I'll make you another very, very simple one. There's lots you can do with these, but what do you think this does? Go to TW5. So we'll run the batch file. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Remember, one video every day in December. There's lots of tutorials on batch files, they're very versatile, and you can do so much with them.